Modern React apps, pretty complicated. Create React app is a project to manage that complexity for you. In this tutorial step, we take a look at creating a project using Create React app with TypeScript. Okay, first we want to create the React app using the Create React app project. We can use npx as a command runner for this. Instead of doing it from the command line, I'm going to let the IDE do it for me. So I'm going to say new project. We're in WebStorm. It could be any of the JetBrains IDEs. I'm going to go to React app. I'm going to fill in some place to save this. So we're going to create the project in this directory using this version of Node, using this uh, set of commands and arguments to npx. And I'm going to check the magic button. It says, make me a TypeScript project. That button right there is worth a billion dollars. So I click create, and then I'll come back on the other side when we have a project open. NPM's now downloaded 10 gazillabytes, as we can see in the output here. I have a new project open. Uh, my IDE is re-indexed the universe, and I'm ready to go. What's the first thing I can do in a React project? I can, from a terminal, npm start, and it fires up the Webpack dev server. This does an auto reloading mechanism, launches a browser, and I can type code and change it and see the results. For example, here, I can click on this link, and in Firefox, I have a new tab open with the contents of my site. That's pretty cool. Now, I ran this in a terminal. I can also do a control C, exit, and run this from the IDE. Let the IDE help me a little bit. How can I do that? A couple of ways. One, the uh, go to the NPM panel and double click on start. And it runs basically um, the NPM start command, but in a tool window that's dedicated to this feature. So it's starting up the development server, same as before but using a run tool window instead of the IDE's terminal window. The way I usually do this, I'll close this, is I go to the package. Uh, close that as well. Go to the package.json file, and I love these little things, these little gutter icons that let me run each of these either under run or debug. So I'm going to run this under run, and I get the same kind of output down below. Starts up the development server. Of course, it's out of date. And back over in the browser, I see that I'm still connected. As Create React app very helpfully tells me in the last line to create a production build, run this command. This says yarn, but I'll be using npm. What is a production build? With Create React app, you can create an app into a directory that's hyper-optimized, minified into a bazillion ways, as small as it can possibly get, and then that can be shipped off to a static web server and run as is. Let's use the same approach. Let's go to the package.json, run build. Hear my CPU fan crank up as it goes and produces my hello world as a standalone app in a build directory. Now, when that's done, as we can see in the tool window, I now have a new directory at the top level called build. It's got a bunch of stuff copied into it. It's also got this extra coloring on it, which means it's excluded. If the IDE does not do that for you, you can right click on it and go to mark directory as and choose excluded. In this case, you would unexclude it with this. Next up, we're going to talk about testing. That's this line right here. Uh, Create React app out of the box bundles Jest. It bundles testing library and it creates a test automatically with everything pre-configured, including for TypeScript, which is a big deal because that's pretty hard to get wired up. Let's see this in action. I can come to this and click in the gutter icon, run test. And it's going to find all the test files. In this case, one test file and execute them, and we can see it uh, running its output down here, and it's watching for tests to run as code changes. Uh, we can go and make changes, and we'll see that in subsequent tutorial sections. 
But what we'll actually see, since this whole tutorial is about TDD, we will show instead of running in an NPM run tool window, we're going to show it in a dedicated tool window for testing, for just testing, and get into test-driven development.